Hey guys, what's up? Hey guys, welcome back to Bumpy TV. So guys, today I'm gonna be reacting to a wonderful suggestion. Guys, if you're new here, feel sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you love things like this, that give you love my reaction. Please make sure you love it first before you subscribe because there's no point for you subscribe to my channel without loving my content. Guys, the one checking out Dave Chappelle reveals how he found Islam at a pizza shop. I don't think I got the name correctly, but Please pardon me, you say it down here, guys. Guys, let's go straight into this. You're, you're a Muslim? I am. When did you become Muslim? When I was 17. What were the circumstances? I don't know, it was like believing in God and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not like, you know what I mean? I should preface this by saying it's not like I'm good at it. <laughs> when I was 17, I was living in Washington, and there was a pizza shop across from my house. And it was like all these Muslim dudes that worked in there. And I used to go in there and crack jokes. And I also, I was a naturally curious guy and I would ask him questions about his religion. It was, and the guy was so passionate about it, it was very compelling. I liked the perspective of it. And, and I think these things informed my decision that I wanted to have a meaningful life, a spiritual life. I'm reading about you being Muslim and they referenced something that I was fascinated by. The well of Zamzam. There's a well called Zamzam. It's in yeah. Saudi Arabia. And the myth goes that a family walking through this desert dying of thirst. And this endless well presents itself. You and I could go see it. Right, so I could go see it. You'd yeah. probably have to make some phone calls. <laughs> <laughs> have, have, you, have you been there? I have. It's only welcome to Muslims. It's not a tourist location. No, nor should it be. The man is the prophet Abraham and his wife. The word Zamzam, Zam, you guys speak out, it literally means stop, stop. Because the, when it was commanded that this well would appear, the water gushed forth so much that the wife screams, stop, stop, because it, it was so overwhelming. And they say that it's an inexhaustible well. Mm -hmm. Guys, this is actually my first time hearing about well Zamzam. Zam. Like, guys, explain it in the, in the comments below, guys. I want to know more. Like, like it sounds strange, like... Like, it's my first time hearing it, like, and it's only, like, you, only Muslims can visit. <sighs> Guys, let's go back, let's go back into this. The thing that comforts me about it is the idea that all of this is from a singular source. That this source is ultimately kind, and even though we may not understand the intentions of this source, they were all connected and bounded by it. You know, like, Islam, as it's been presented in the public space, is such a narrow and, and, and dismissive view of... Oh of a religious belief it's a it's a beautiful religion like a beautiful religion and the ideas in that religion are reflected in all the major abrahamic faiths you'll see these ideas in christianity or judaism you know but the idea is that this place does mean something it's a place where you come to learn where you come to know you get here knowing nothing you get a head full of shit and then you, you go on when the yeah. uh, current president says uh, you know what? We're going to look into keeping Muslims out of this country. Well, how does that make you feel when that happens? You don't expect necessarily that much empathy or compassion or cultural astuteness from a guy like that. What you're sad about is that the chair doesn't have more humanity in it. But has that chair ever been that humane? When Biden called Trump the first racist president ever, well, clearly that's not true. So how do I feel when I hear a white person say some stupid shit? <laughs> I'm not going to comment on that, guys. Like, <laughs> yeah, this was amazing, guy. I love the way he's able to open. Like, but to be honest, this was amazing. Like, how he found the, the, the religion, guy. Like, it was cool. Like, I love, I keep on saying this, I love to love Muslim short people. Like, the love is amazing. Like, the love is amazing. One thing I love about the religion, guys, you guys, the way you for, treat people with open hearts, guys, is amazing. Some of you guys, guys, treat people with open hearts. Not all, but so. Let me say most. Like, it's amazing. I love it. I love it. Guys, this was amazing, guys. Please do make sure you leave your... Thoughts on this in the comment section, guys. I want to read your thoughts and please answer my questions, guys. 
please let's chat in the comment section guys guys please to like share subscribe to my channel i'll see you next time guys